Hey guys, Ashley here. So today I'm going to give you my review of Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. I did film a review for this right after I finished reading it a couple weeks ago, but looking back I didn't really like the review that much and I have a lot more to say now than I did then, so I'm going to refilm it. Uh, but before I do that, I actually want to say thank you to all of you. Yesterday I hit 100 subscribers, and I know that doesn't seem like a lot. I know a lot of people have like 10,000 subscribers and whatever else, but to me that's a lot. 100 people who want to watch me talk about books and sincerely like what I'm saying when I talk about books is a lot of people to me, and I am honored and kind of... I don't know, I just feel weird, but awesome in a weird way. So I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who have already subscribed or who will subscribe in the future. You are wonderful people and I am so happy to have you be a part of my life, my YouTube universe of life. And yeah, thank you so, so much. So yeah, I guess let's get started. So first of all, these covers, both of them, the Anna and the French Kiss cover and the Lola and the Boy Next Door cover are just so pretty. They're so pretty. This book and Anna and the French Kiss are also wonderful February reads for Valentine's Day because they're both very quirky, cute love stories that aren't like cliche YA love stories. Um, the only thing I can say is that I'm not a big fan of the description on the back of either book. I find them kind of cheesy and they make the books sound like the books are going to be cheesy and I didn't find the books to be cheesy at all. Moving on to plotline. This is the second book in the companionship series thing by Stephanie Perkins. Um, this is about a girl named Lola and her life I guess. She has a boy next door who has moved away and has just moved back whose name is Cricket and she had something with him at some point in her life and now she doesn't and you don't really know what happened with them. You find out throughout the book but you know that she's very weird around him but he is just if you've read Anna and the French Kiss and you love St. Clair, trust me when I tell you that you will fall in love with Cricket. I liked this book even more than Anna and the French Kiss. I gave both Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door 4.5 out of 5 stars. They're just wonderful, cute, light-hearted romance books that can get you through life. <laughs> I loved that in this book the main character Lola was developed really well. She was very unique and herself all the time. She is a costumer. She believes in like costume design so every day she wakes up she decides to be something new. She'll wear wigs and crazy jewelry and crazy outfits and it's just fabulous. Also I really like history a lot and she decides she wants to be Marie Antoinette when she goes to the winter, winter formal and I just what? Oh my god. Anyways just this. This. This book is like what your heart needs on a daily basis. If you haven't read this book, um, you need to. However, you need to read Anna and the French Kiss first. Because people tell you that you can read these books out of order or that you can read them as standalones, and I guess technically you could, like it would still make sense, but this would completely ruin the end of Anna and the French Kiss because, because the characters show up in this book. So the characters from Anna and the French Kiss show up in this book as sub-characters. What? That's crazy. Stephanie Perkins, you're a genius genius. And the third book is called Isla and the Happily Ever After and there's a character in Anna and the French Kiss named Isla who makes a very small appearance that I loved when I was reading Anna and the French Kiss. So yeah, yeah, I'm really excited for Isla and the Happily Ever After. So, so very excited and I really hope that these characters show up in that book and like praying that they do. In this book, I would say the things that I liked the most about it were the character development the relationship development and also just like the coming of age story that happens within it like Lola has to realize what she really wants in life and what's really important in life versus what she's trying to convince herself is important and I think that that's something that a lot of people go through in life like what is actually important versus what you've convinced yourself is important and yeah I just really really liked that a lot also I love the backdrop it takes place in San Francisco and it was a really neat backdrop for the story. I liked it a lot. I also really liked like the random historical elements in this. Like she wanted to be Marie Antoinette and Cricket's ancestors and just everything. And also, also guys, the Olympics is on. The Olympics, I love the Olympics like a lot. And Cricket's sister is an Olympic figure skater. 
this is like timely. That's pretty much it. That is my review. I hope that I accomplished something in this review. I feel like I look back on my reviews and I watch them and I just babble and I don't know if you guys like that. So if there's something that you want me to do in reviews that I don't do, comment below and tell me because I am completely open to your opinions. Do you want something more from me? Do you like the way that I do my reviews? Etc. Pretty much anything. And if you have any recommendations for me that are like Lola and the Boy Next Door that I should read next, comment below and let me know because I really want to know that too. If you've read this book, let me know what you liked about it and if you haven't read it, let me know if you're planning on reading it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you are not a subscriber, you should subscribe. Um, I would really love it if you wanted to watch me talk about books all the time because I really love talking to you guys about books all the time. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go now and be really happy that there are currently 103 of you who love me enough to subscribe and have me hound your subscription feeds with tons of videos. So thank you so much again. I am completely honored and I will see you guys soon with another video. Happy reading guys and have a wonderful weekend. Bye!